gather together our prayer of joys and concerns. We thank you, O oh God, for all those in Scripture who have pointed the way to Christ, for your prophets, Elijah and Isaiah, for other prophets, and for John. We thank you, too, for those in our lives who have pointed us to Christ, the pastors and teachers, strangers and friends. Give us eyes to see him today among those lifted up with joy. We pray for Zane, Jessica's friend, who's continuing to recover from his accident. For the new dining room furniture that arrived just in time for Thanksgiving. For Kyle, Marcia, and Clarence's grandson, who's home from the hospital and doing well. For Richard's first Thanksgiving with everyone, including his parent, grandparents, Amy and George. Are there other joys to lift up this day? For, it's George, right? It's for George's surgery being completely successful and that he is home recovering. May he quickly, quickly recover. For Clarence to go to Florida yesterday and have no idea. <laughs> For, for Clarence heading to Florida and having everyone recognize that he's probably not a security risk as he goes to the <laughs> Oh Lord, give us eyes to see Christ today. And we will give our testimony too. Give us eyes to see him today among those weighed down for con with concerns, for families in transition, for war in George Razaboni's relative diagnosed with lung cancer. For Wisna Dean, the church's adopted daughter leaving the Compassion International program. For Sierra, Candy's daughter, still processing the upset from seeing a fatal car accident outside her home. For Ifan's mom, whose memory is fading. For Natalie, Marjorie's sister-in-law, who is in the ICU recovering from her third heart attack. And for Clayton, Marjorie's nephew and Natalie's son, who passed away in a motorcycle accident earlier this week. For the people of Israel and Palestine, may they find a way forward. For all those who are looking forward to Christmas and not finding a way forward on that road. Are there other concerns to lift up this day? For our friends and their moms, that they know the love that surrounds them, and that we are reminded of the love that we have for our mothers who are with us and those who have passed on. who are marking a loss at the holiday time when everyone else is jolly, 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 and their hearts are breaking, even as they remember. May they know the love that surrounds them. Lord, give us eyes to see Christ today, and we will give our testimony. Give us eyes to see Christ today among those who are oppressed and imprisoned, broken-hearted, or beaten down, and we will give our testimony to how Christ sets us, releases us and sets us free, how Christ turns ashes into garlands, how he repairs and builds up what was ruined, we too will point others to Jesus, the light of the world. Amen. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. 